Hey YouTube, it's Erin and I am the Handbag Housewife and I'm back again with another video. Today's video is going to be a full collection video and I would say this is my biggest wall of bags that I have in my collection. And so I thought we'd start here. As you all know, I love both contemporary and luxury handbags. And these are my Coach Puffy bags. I've got a studio there in the middle. And then I have the Wine and the Coral Pillow Madisons. All three of these bags feel amazing. If you weren't aware, you can get custom inserts for all three of these styles from greentaginserts.com. And if you use the code HBHW12, you can get 12% off, as well as free shipping in the USA. Let's go ahead and pan over this direction, where I have a mix of not only Coach, but also Saint Laurent and Louis Vuitton. My favorite new model is there proudly in the front in her beautiful bicolor palette. Now, I do have something to show you inside of this favorite as well as outside. This favorite has a sticker, a protective sticker on it from Have Deluxe and they did an excellent job in reformulating their stickers. They are much shinier now than they used to be and also I think somewhat easier to apply as well. Now I don't have a discount code yet for half deluxe but i am working on that so i will get back to you as soon as that's available and when it becomes available i will link it down in the description box of this video as well but i did want to show you this custom insert from zumani for this favorite new model bag i'm going to go ahead and pop it in and then show you what it looks like inside but as you can see it has a long pocket on this side and then also one on that side. And this is in the 1.2 millimeter thickness, I believe, which is nice for bags with less capacity. As you can see, when you pop the Zumani insert inside, it does protect the bottom of the bag, and it also leaves the bag's existing pocket very accessible for use. It is a great match color-wise as well. I will pop a discount code for Zumani down in the description box as well as their website. As you can see behind the beautiful favorite is my Coach Times Rodarte leather sequence bag. This is a courier crossbody and comes with a really thick chain. I love the beadwork and rivet work and leather sequins on this bag. I think it is just gorgeous. Next is my favorite wallet on chain, my only wallet on chain, but this is the Coach Cali, and it comes with a golden chain. I'll show you here in just a minute. It's got beautiful glove tan leather printed with the Cave Facet floral designs, which are all in this green and blue color palette on this particular bag. I have, believe it or not, pared down my K Facet collection to some very special limited pieces. This is the one I have decided to keep in terms of the Cali style. I'm going to show you one that I have for sale. And if you're watching today, you are going to get a special price because I currently have it priced at $175, but I'm going to sell it to anybody who wants it and replies to me through this video, $150 shipped. So this is the Coach Cali crossbody that I am selling. And it is also part of the K Facet collection. It has a generous back pocket. The bag is all leather. It's leather lined inside of the back pocket. Comes with this gorgeous, substantial chain. The floral on the front of the bag is basically printed into the canvas as opposed to on top, like where this one has texture, the one on the front does not. The patterns on the sides do have texture as well as the bottom. And the one thing that's great about this particular color combo is that the blues match so well with denim. And I'm gonna show you that here in a second. Inside, you can see that it is stamped genuine glove tan leather, has a generous pocket there, a zippered pocket there. This is the only part of the bag that's not leather inside of the zippered pocket. 
Then you have this pocket as well as this one, which includes card slots and additional organization. This bag is an accordion style bag and it does spread a lot. You can fit a whole bunch into these little bags and I'm never gonna get rid of that other one I just showed you, but I did want to go ahead and sell this one for $150 to anybody who might be interested. It is a great little bag. This is how she fits crossbody. She's very comfortable. I've used these bags on hikes, believe it or not. They're great on vacation. The fact that they expand lets you carry so many daily essentials with you, but still remain extremely lightweight. So if you're interested in this little beauty for $150, it retails for $395, I believe. So it is quite a steal. Just reach out to me through my contact information that's down in the description box. We haven't made it very far, but the next bag I'd like to show you is my beautiful Rouge Lesion St. Laurent Collège bag. Love that bag. I got that one pre-loved, but like nowhere to speak of. And I'm going to be doing a collage special with my four collage bags coming up very soon to look at the differences between the old and the new models, as well as show you the excellent base shapers that I have from M Boutique Australia. All of these companies that I use to help preserve my bags, I'm going to have them listed down in the description box so that you can go down and access discount codes and get some deals yourself. Here are a few more of my K facet pieces an accordion card holder as well as a slim card holder and beautiful roses from Rose Forever. Again, none of this video is sponsored, but I do have links down in the box should you decide you want to pick up any of these products that are popping up along the way. This is my Coach Times k Facet Troop chain crossbody or chain shoulder bag, and I absolutely love this bag. I decided that this was going to be the bag that I kept from the K Facet times Coach collaboration. And I did sell my Coach Marley bag with the patchwork K design. So if you missed that today in my collection, it's because I am paring things down. And this is the work of art that is sticking around. This shelf is going to change really soon because the beautiful field tote on the left is going to a new home. But she's making one last debut. She's the Coach Upwoven Field Tote with the ivory leather trim. In the middle is one of the most beautiful Valentino bags I have ever seen. It is the Medium Glam Lock with embroidery and beadwork and oh my, just lots of beauty. Next is my one and only Fendi Peekaboo in the color Soap with rose gold hardware. Moving along the way is a beautiful emerald green Gucci. I do not know if that's the official name of the color, but it is the small convertible Marmont style of which I have two and I just might pick up another one. You never know. The one here in the middle is the Medium Valentino Rockstead bag. And again, I do not know the color of this, but it is not the Rose Poudre color, which would be much more similar to this porcelain rose shade of the Gucci Marmont. This is more of a beige tone. Hiding there in the corner is my Tory Burch Britain. And this is an outlet bag, but I do really like the style. And it's great when I need a bag that's beautiful, but that I don't need to worry about quite as much if it were to get damaged. Up at the top of this section, I have three Coach Soft Tabbies. This is a style I really like. I do prefer it to the Fendi Mama Baguette because I like how the straps clip on and off. I like that the bag has just a little bit more structure, although all three of these have inserts either from SUNY Bag and Bag, which is no longer in business, or Green Tag inserts. And again, I'll put the discount code for that company down in the description box. Finally, in this section, I have four Coach Cassie 19s. That is my favorite style of the Cassie. I wish Louis Vuitton would come out with a Cassie 19 pochette Matisse. I mean, I know they came out with the East West, but I don't think it holds nearly as much as the Cassie 19s do. Here in the middle is the beautiful New Wave chain bag by Louis Vuitton in the color Rose Ballerine. My bag of the day is still my Quartz Louis Vuitton Busey bag. So there she sits behind her. More roses from Rose Forever. 
and I am going to go ahead and move on to the next section. Here are a lot of my Saint Laurent bags, Marc Jacobs, Longchamp, kind of the gamut. Starting at the top, I have a creamy mock croc Longchamp Extra Small, as well as the LGP embossed Longchamp in the black calfskin leather. I think it's calfskin, don't hold me to that. The red and the Matisse leather, these are all the extra small Le Pliage type style. We have the quilted Duodene style of black lambskin leather. And then the last one is from the Wish collection and really reminds me of Chanel. I have two Marc Jacobs the tote bag minis, which I have noticed recently may be called the small now. I think they've renamed them, but these are about 10 inches wide. And so whatever they're called, the mini or the small, that's the size that they are. I used my cement one and realized I regretted selling my rose dust and then I had to buy it back. And there's a video on that if you are interested. I have a whole playlist on Marc Jacobs and the bags I've had and the ones I no longer have. Here in the middle, I have one of three of my small Lulu puffer bags by Saint Laurent. This one's in the color Opium Red. I got a great deal on this through a website called Forward, FWRD.com. I can link it down in the description box. There are codes you can use with Forward and get discounts on Saint Laurent. There is the beautiful puffer in the color Dark Honey. I got that one from Jessa Lux on Instagram or Jessa Closet. She's also on Facebook. Then the Earth Gray Small Lulu. Got that one a long time ago through a website called Orchard Mile. They used to offer discounts on St. Laurent. I don't know if you're noticing this, but I've been able to get discounts on all of these St. Laurent bags. Same thing with this dark beige, which really isn't very dark, small Lulu. I think I may have gotten that one from Forward or perhaps Essence. I can't remember. It's been so long. But finally, we have the Lulu Puffer in Crema Soft, and that one was also from that forward.com website. It's Forward by Elise Walker. I have three Tory Burch top handle small satchel style bags. On the left is the black raffia stripe, in the center is beeswax, and on the right is denim. I'm actually considering selling the raffia stripe, so if you are interested, please reach out to me. It is a beautiful bag that retailed for $698. I picked it up at about 30% off and would be happy to sell it to anyone who may be interested for $450 shipped. Next, we have the rest of my Saint Laurent Collège bags, two in the newer style and one in the older style. The one in the middle, I believe the colors Rose Poudre, left is Seaweed and right is Sharon Blue. My Collège bags, I got all of them on the secondhand market through Fashion File or individual sellers, except for the Sharon Blue, which I got from forward.com. Next is a row of coach, and these bags are all camera bags. The three on your left are soft pebble camera bags in black, chalk, and papaya, and the one on your right is the new one that I got in the color pool, which is an oh-so-perfect match for my kids' school team colors. Got a little bit more Saint Laurent action. This bag is in the color sea turquoise. It's the small Lulu. This one is dusty gray, which is a darker version of dark beige, in my opinion. And then this one is in the black, and this has the antiqued hardware, which is silver with some tarnish on it. Below that, I have my beautiful new blue Nuage Busey, the Tory Burch Woven Kira, and this is in the color Arctic, and then the Tory Burch Ruched Kira. And this is one that I got for my birthday back last year when I went to Dallas with one of my good friends, Julie from Agent Bag Reviews, another YouTube channel. You should go check her out if you haven't already. Now we are into my bag cabinet. Down at the bottom, you'll see I have my Croissette along with a few little SLGs as well as the Valentino Roman Stud bag in the color Niagara Blue, I believe. 
Now, normally I would have my Speedy 20 sitting down there, but she is in the windowsill sunbathing. Let me show you what she looks like. So there she is. She has all of her parts that already have tanned covered up, which is most of the bag, but the handles themselves have not tanned very much. And they're getting close to being even to the rest. They're still a very light shade, but I'm trying to get a nice honey patina on this bag so that it is less worrisome to carry it. And so what I've done is I've wrapped towels and even some Kleenex around the parts that I do not want to get sun on. And then I have been applying some leather lotion to the parts that are exposed. It's sort of an experiment to see if I can get an even tan on this beauty. Next, we have my beautiful new bicolor pochette Matisse that you just saw the Prada camera bag in a blue Safiano leather. And I don't know the name of that color, but it is stunning. The new wave chain bag by Louis Vuitton, as well as the fragments card case by Saint Laurent. I don't know the name of the color of the fragments card case. I think it might be natural. And of course the new wave is in navy, I believe. Next we have the brown Gucci Marmont camera style bag. The pochette accessoire, multi pochette accessoire hack that I've done with the Damier Aben pochette accessoire and the mini pochette. And then my actual multi pochette charmed up with a cute charm from Have Deluxe. Again, will be linked down in the box, but I do not have a discount code for them yet. I'm hoping I can get one for you. And then this bag here is my balloon bag. Once upon a time, I had a passy bag and the glazing on it did crack within a month. So I did exchange it for this bag instead and have been loving it ever since. Next shelf up, I have some SLGs. I've got my Saint Laurent card holder, my Prada card holder. These are my two favorite card holders other than my Louis Vuitton Keyclays. I think the Prada one is the winner though overall because it does have three slots and the center slot. And then on the other side, it has an additional three slots. It's extremely thin and it just works so well to hold the exact amount of cards I need. These two pieces are Felici inserts in the Empreinte leather. And I picked these up on the secondhand market, then went ahead and authenticated everything like I do. Since I've had that bad experience with eBay, where I got a fake strap sold to me by a seller from Japan, this particular bag is the Speedy 25 Bandolier in Eben leather. And I have it accessorized with a beautiful Louis Vuitton charm. So this is the bag that started it all. My husband got me the Berry PM for my 40th birthday, and it was my first luxury bag. I ended up exchanging it for this one, which is the MM, because the handle got really, really wrinkly, like a 110-year-old person, and then loved it for quite some time, and now it's too big for me, but I do think that will change in the future. I have her accessorized with this gorgeous chunky Vaquetta chain strap from Dress Up Your Purse. I will link that website as well as my discount code down below. And then I also have a luggage tag from Hawaii. I got the luggage tag on the second hand market and then got it hot stamped in Hawaii as well as the key bell that comes with the berry as well. This particular zippy coin is more of a wallet and it's from the Blossom Collection. I hunted far and wide to find it and I think it is just beautiful. And again, I have another luggage tag there that I could put on my Speedy if I ever wanted to, but why would I when I have that gorgeous chain? In front of the berry, I typically have my Cameo Beige Prada Re-Edition. I love these little bags. They are the most fantastic bags for travel ever. Moving up to the next shelf, I have my only Fendi baguette. This is in the soap color as well, but it has gold hardware with the black trimming. And it is a chain style bag, which I prefer to the straps that come on the newer style of baguette. They do still offer this style in the midi, which is a little smaller than this one, but this is the same size as the current medium baguette. And the strap that comes with that particular bag it does not have the length to go crossbody, and this one can go shoulder or crossbody. 
I have a matching card holder that actually came with the purchase of my mini peekaboo with the rose gold hardware and it matches both bags which is nice and then of course my only Hermes piece this Bastia card holder Sneaking in back there, I've got part of my Black Prada re-edition. I don't use these pouches for anything, but I don't want to break up my sets and sell them. Next is a beautiful Chanel medium large classic flap. This is my only Chanel bag, and I love her. She went to leather surgeons and got her hardware replated in the 24 karat gold, and she is just absolutely stunning. I leave her open to keep the quilts underneath nice and puffy and to prevent any denting, but I think this bag is just fabulous. The next shelf up houses my beautiful Ardesia Gray Prada Re-Edition. I got this one first, it's probably my favorite. I don't know though, it's hard to say. And then behind it is a Light Natural Toy Lulu by Saint Laurent and a favorite by Louis Vuitton in the Danny Azure. And then followed up by my last Prada re-edition in the black Safiano leather. Just gorgeous bags, I have to say. We are in the home stretch. Up at the top here are my pinnacle bags. I've got my Capucines by Louis Vuitton. And then next to it, I have a Lady Dior in the medium size. And you may ask, what in the heck do I have hanging here? Well, this is a chain that I got from Nana Store 2018. It's an extender, and I can hook the strap that comes with this bag to this chain, and there's another one on the other side, and it is a perfect crossbody length. And I love it because these look a lot like CD, and the color match on the silver is excellent. It's just a beautiful combo, and this bag also is laid in with stickers from Have Deluxe to prevent any scratching on the hardware because when I got it, it was just virtually perfect. And this bag was a purchase from Rebag. Now these are the last three I'm going to show you today. We have the Gucci Marmont in a blue gray shade, the Alma BB in the Empreinte leather. I did sell my other two Alma BBs. The Epi leather was a little bit too hard for me with the handles. The handles felt kind of pokey when I tried to wear it crossbody, but I like how this is soft and smooshy and the handles don't feel that way. And then finally, I have the green Gucci Marmont style camera bag. I got this bag as part of a, a battle whenever I received the Marmont convertible small shoulder bag in that white color and it was defective. This is the bag I got as a replacement for that one. There are two bags missing from this video. One is the gorgeous My Lock Me BB in the color Rubies or Ruby and it is still at Louis Vuitton getting the lock part on the front completely changed out for $195. I cannot wait to show you what that looks like when it comes back. They are estimating July 28th, and I've been sort of waiting to get all of my bags before I did this collection video, but they seem to be ever-changing, so I went ahead and did it. The other bag that is not here should be here on Tuesday, and I think that unless I'm selling bags, I'm not going to be buying anymore for a while, or at least buying very minimally, because I'm going to start trying to save some of the money that I have as income and try to increase what's in my bank account instead of spending it all. It's always a good plan, but I do have one bag coming on Tuesday that I cannot wait to share with you. So I do want to go ahead and close out and just say, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Do it and ring the notification bell so that you are notified of future exciting content such as this. Also, go find me on Instagram. The name there is the same. It's the at symbol, then the handbag housewife, all lowercase. You can DM me there or you can email me at the handbag housewife at gmail.com. If I don't hear from you, I will see you again real soon. Take care and have a fabulous day. Bye.